Hello, this video brought you by Sankran. Missile Force Beyond Basic Series 3 Pass Params to Action Methods. As you guys know, action methods are nothing but the post methods uh, which you can call after the page load to take necessary actions in the page. Most common use case is clicking a button, clicking a link, or uh, hovering over a section of the page um, some some user interactions so when it happens you normally fire a request which is called action request then the yeah, action methods will be called in the server side it, which I mean is in controller or extension so what happens is most of the time you want to pass some value so that the controller remember controller extension remembers that value and then you can do your business logic according to the new value and what happens is um, Salesforce offers a new tag apex param tag which you can supply via four different action methods action tags for this sole purpose Uh, command button, command link, action support, action function, and I hope you guys know all this. Uh, the, uh, the purpose of this, I can quickly go through. Command button is not, not, nothing but a button. Command link, which offers a link so that when user clicks, you can take action. And action support, which is nothing but you can add action for any components, even a, a div component, span component, select uh, select input, or any component. If you if you add this action support inside that tag, then that will automatically supports this action. So it's very handy. Most of the time, I use this action support. And the last one is action function. And this is one of the function which I use whenever I use more JavaScript functions because it offers a JavaScript name, uh, function name, which can you can use in any JavaScript uh, handlers uh, along with any other libraries, things like that. So this is also one of the handy feature. Action support, uh, with, with these uh, four, four action methods, you could almost accomplish any business case um, in my experience. So let's see how to use the param. Like I said, you can use the apex param tag inside action function and command button, command link. And like I said, inside action list, you can add action support, which also support param, action param. Then this is just an output message to illustrate the new updated value gets refreshed whenever I do one of the four operations, like either clicking a button, clicking a link, or clicking, changing the value in select list, or firing an action function. Let's go through in demo. These are the four different uh, controls for which we have given the actions along with the new params. The param, you can see, the param is nothing but I'm sending an action name which tells what the user is doing for example when the user clicks command button then i'm sending action name is command button so let's see what happens command button i'm clicking the command button you can see the command button value gets written by the, from the server excellent so when i click the link you can see command link when it changes it's action, select list through action support. When I cl change, uh, click the action function, it's, uh, it's a link uh, working through action function. So this is how it works. Don't forget to like this video and provide your comments or feedbacks below. If you like this video and want to share with friends, please share them. And if you want to notify about my future videos, please subscribe below. Thank you.